I'm assuming whether it's an addiction with alcohol or whether it's an addiction with sugar, the process, the neuro process is similar. It is, yes. That's where we started to look at the substance use literature, the alcohol abuse literature, and really just ask the question, okay, well, if we were to replicate this study that was done in alcohol, but instead of using alcohol, we use sugar, will we get the same findings? And so that's essentially what we did was we started off at first using our rat models, laboratory rats, and just basically just started trying to replicate studies that were done in drugs and alcohol, but see if they could produce the same results when we use sugar. And that's what we were able to ultimately see. And what, what are these neural processes? What is happening in the brain? Like there are surges, you know, in certain neurotransmitters, chemicals, what is happening exactly? In terms of what we've been looking at specifically, it has been the dopamine system and that dopamine system is involved with reward and reinforcement. And what we see when it comes to addiction and when it comes to overconsumption of sugar and sugar addiction too, is that dopamine is repeatedly released upon consumption of these substances or use of these substances, including sugar.